Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another FWTR video. Alright, so we have a FAQ regarding the Fantasy War Tactics R service transfer. It's a sad day for FWTR players, players like you, players like me, and I'm sure if you guys are not in the loop, basically, uh, I'll briefly explain, there's a service transfer from the Fantasy War Tactics R the entire game from Nexon to this new company called Velof. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but let's just read through and I'll briefly explain along the way. So basically, uh, if you use Google and Facebook accounts to log into your game to the Fantasy War Tactics R and it's linked to your Google or your Facebook, then it's fine. You don't have to worry about any requests. But for lots who use email accounts, you will have to log into the game and create a new ID and password per server so within the period of May 17th to June 20th after the maintenance, alright? So make sure to create this new ID if you have if you are using login using your email or you can just link it using Google or Facebook account. That will make your life a lot more easier. So basically if you have two accounts or three accounts on each server, make sure to create uh, one account, one ID, one new ID for your each of your accounts on whatever server there is. Alright, so for lots who use guest accounts, uh, you have to try to link it or else it will get deleted. Alright, so if you do not wish to request for service transfer, basically it will put you into account deletion process if you cancel the transfer agreements. So unless you want to delay your account, that shouldn't happen. So basically, uh, log into the game during the 7 day grace period, restore your account and you will still automatically recognize as a confirmation for transfer. So it's either you transfer or if you decline the transfer, basically your account will get deleted. Essentially, I believe that Nexon is basically selling this game, Fantasy War Tactics R and all the development things to another company, this company called Valve. So I'm not sure if it's good or bad, uh, I have mixed feelings about it. I feel scared that it might not be the same anymore, but at the same time, part of me sort of feel excited like maybe this new company will, will make it better for us. Uh, so yeah, it's like kind of a mixed feelings for now. So I hope that they can do better. So let's read on, uh, this is the account stuff. So can I continue using my previous account after the service transfer? Yes, obviously. So will I still be able to access Facebook, Google, email accounts after the service transfer? Yes, Google and Facebook accounts will not be deleted, but the other ones make sure that you do it. Uh, do, if you don't want any problem or the one are afraid of your account getting deleted, just make sure to link it properly. Will all my accounts be transferred if I have multiple accounts? So make sure that you are creating multiple uh, IDs for each account, then it will be fine. So guest ID will not be transferred if you play as a guest, time for you to link your account. So in terms of use or operation policy change is different. So these are all useful information, make sure to, to read this for yourself. Uh, basically, once Valve takes over, I think the game will be slightly different. Uh, the reset time, all right, time zone and everything will remain as usual. All right, so this is the most important part of the entire FAQ note right here. So will existing events continue as usual after the service transfer? Contents such as equipment summon, Lost Island, Tower of Dawn, attendance event and unknown paradise operated regularly on schedule will continue as usual. All right, which is good. Basically, we are still getting Tower of Dawn every month, attendance event, equipment summon, and everything will proceed as usual. However, schedules of events held separately, such as on-time events, uh, heroes birthday events, event shop, and basically uh, all the collab events might be modified. So we are still yet to receive uh, any new patch notes for a while now. So most likely this is the reason why, because the entire game is now being transferred over to Valve. 
Alright, so I will try my best to read this as properly as I can. So, greetings lords, this is Fantasy War Tactics FWTR support team. We want to say thank you for your endless support and love that you have shown to FWTR. We would like to share an important announcement today. It is about the change that FWTR will be going through in 2018. Starting from June 20th, 2018, Fantasy War Tactics R shall be transferred to Valof Co. Ltd. Alright, so Valof shall continue servicing FWTR from June 20th, 2018. So it's no longer owned by Nexon. Necessary in-game information required for the service, including the character information, will be transferred to Valof. Please, please see below for transfer details. Alright guys, uh, I guess that's it for the important announcement. So now that the game is officially switching developers, I'm not sure if it's good or bad for the game. Uh, it's gonna depend on how good these new developers are. And I know some of you are angry or upset because you have invested so long in the game and things like that but i would say that just hold on for a while and let's wait and look at how the game will be when valov takes over uh let's just give them a chance for now so yeah uh, let me know what you guys think as well i will see you guys in the next one have a nice day goodbye